Okay, we're on. So we're on Tembeck, uh, Tembeck Roads. This is a uh, tertiary road? Yeah, operational road. Okay. So like I was telling you, when they when they located the road, you can see how they, they filled in the side here for a, a fair amount. Yeah. Uh, the, the contractor figured, well, uh, once, once it was located and cut and built, they thought uh, the haul trucks would be having trouble, so they would. Uh, we don't have any gravel in this block, so we specifically targeted it for summer. Uh, winter, with the hills, it gets to be a pain because of sanding and everything else. Uh, yeah. So we targeted it for summer. Uh, and what they did is, once they got on, on top and into the back, and we'll see when we go out, is what they decided to do is actually link back up to the to an old road. Yes. Yeah. It, it was flat, so the trucks were able to to go in one way and come down the hill. Oh, okay. So yeah, they yeah. didn't have to come up the hill. Right. Uh, do a circle. They, they did. They did a, a loop road. Okay. Uh, loop roads. Uh, the, the contractors like to do them just because for haul is kind of efficient. But as a uh, as a company paying for the roads, uh, depending on the loop, some of them can be very costly. Right. Paying for that extra road for. Yeah. But there definitely are instances when uh, loop roads are, uh, are certainly worthwhile. So overall, I think the guys did a pretty good job here with uh, with the road location and the building. Uh, it was built with an excavator. Uh, they use lots of excavators. Uh, they have a hard time finding good dozer guys. Oh yeah. Like it's hard to find a good dozer man. So it's a little easier to build the road uh, to teach a guy to build the road with uh, an excavator. Hmm. So it's a little flatter in this section here, and uh, what they did is at this next intersection, they built uh, they built the road out uh, on flatter ground, so the, the haul would have a uh, much easier time. Because if you have to start pushing trucks, it gets expensive. So what kind of soil you're dealing with here on this? Yeah, a lot of the soils down here are sandy loams. Okay. So for for summer operation, they're very good. They pack well. Um, uh, the only issue is when you do get rain, they get a little bit slick. Okay. So the uh, uh, like if, if we got a downpour now, there's like a chance the trucks would have to stop hmm. because they'd be slipping and sliding all over. So you've had a fairly dry summer, so this has been worked out. Pretty yeah, good. it's actually worked out uh, good. Uh, a little bit of rain is not a bad thing, but if you do get 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 some consistent. Uh, Good, good shower uh, for an hour or two, but uh, yeah. it gets a little bit sloppy for the trucks. A little bit of slash piles. Yeah. Cut everything birch, uh, poplar, spruces, balsams, pine. Uh, in here, the pine though is like 120 years old. If you uh, don't see any here, but, uh, some of the jack pine is like 120 years old. It's got red rot in it, so the guys were told not to cut it. We ended up cutting a little bit. Uh, but it's got red rot in it. It's not very good. It's not very good. So this is the section of road they built uh, just to, uh, to kind of link it up. Get rid of that hill there. Uh, yeah. So the trucks didn't have to come up. Even though they're empty, they, uh, they still would have some issues. Mm -hmm. I didn't have an issue with, with that here. I think they made a pretty good call here on uh, making this little section. It, it only added another 500 meters. Into the so you come through a plantation on this? Yeah, this is the old road here. Okay. So we'll, we'll, we'll take a run down here. And uh, I believe, I believe this is where the hall is. I believe they're pushing trucks up the hill here. There's, okay. There's a, street, a steep little pitch here that, uh, again, because we don't have gravel, uh, we weren't gonna spend money on uh, the closest gravel we have here is back on the main road, which is uh, about, uh, about 15, 16 clicks from here. And if you can, if we can avoid it, uh, we'll, we'll not gravel the roads uh, if the gravel's that far. So we try and target our blocks that, okay, this is going to be summer, we know there's no gravel, or the chances of finding gravel are slim, while this other block, we know gravel is closer, or there's a better chance of finding gravel then we'll, we'll target those for the spring and for the fall. Hmm. And if we can build road ahead, uh, uh, that way it gives us a chance to, uh, to find the, uh, the gravel. Area. So you got 
some cut fill going on. Yeah. Yeah, kind of a, a side slope here a little bit, so uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a gentle, gentle downhill to the block. Um, we um, this was a last minute road. Uh, we were going to try and come in from uh, from the block itself, but it was way too steep. So we decided to come in from. Uh, so what this kind section of here. what kind of slope is this here? A percent grade? Uh, it's got to be. We we don't do we don't do any uh, any. Uh, like this is kind of a steep uh, yeah, here, isn't it? Yeah. This this is. Uh, this is uh, the section here where trucks would, would, would need some help, I think. I think there's one more little, little dip here that's got to... The guys need some help in here. You need to get warm, huh? Yeah, yeah, this yeah. was, uh, again, this was a culvert that was not on the, uh, our stream, not on the, uh, on the maps. So we found this one here. It's uh, kind of rocky. It's, uh, you don't see it's, I don't know if you see it's all on your side, Dave, but on my side you can see there's, uh, there's kind of a, uh, you know, right, where is it? Right there, there's, there's uh, a channel. It's kind of dry now. Uh, but it, uh, it was flowing really well uh, in June and July, okay. and even though it dries up, it dries up uh, at a certain time of the year. Uh, if it flows eight months of the year, it's considered a stream. So we ended up putting a 30 meter uh, that's a AOC stream. on here. That's a, that, that's a creek. Yeah. Okay. So there's yeah. intermittent. Okay. There's intermittent, which which flows. I think it's wow, well, less than eight months of the year or four months of the year. And then there's a, there's streams which are eight months of the year. Uh, they flow eight months of the year. They're considered a stream. And the other word was. And then there's eph ephemerals, yeah, which are basically drainages. Or what? Just drainage. Okay. And you're picking yeah. that from off your lidar generation. We're pick we're picking it off our lidar uh, generation, and uh, it gives the guys a heads up. Okay, there's something here, and sometimes the lidar, you know, it's called. They'll call it a, on the lidar. It'll come out as ephemeral, but when you actually uh, go there, it could it could be an intermittent or it could be a creep. Uh, but the lidar usually, if it says ephemeral or, uh, or uh, an intermittent creek, usually it's pretty uh, pretty good on, on that call. Okay. This is, you can see the old the pine here. This pine is like 120 years old. Um, we told the guys not to cut it. Uh, you can see within it there's lots of dead chicos of pine. Yeah. Uh, this stuff here, if you start cutting it up, the, the, the butt might, might look good. But if you go up 10, 15 feet and, and, and take another swipe out of it, uh, you'll have red rot, rot in it. Oh, okay. You'll take a, you know, you go another 10 feet up, you'll, you'll put another cut into it. It'll be white. It'll be nice. Mm -hmm. Go up another 10 feet, it'll be red rot. So uh, for the sawmills, it's uh, not nice. It's not very good. There's, <coughs> what? No, there's no market for red uh, lumber. Okay. Well, this stuff didn't get burned. That's uh... yeah. What's the uh, width of your right away? This is basically right away here, right? Well, no, this is the block itself. Uh, be because of the leaving the pine and there's lots of balsam in here, so it, 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 co it comes out to like a careful logging. So if you look down, you can see where the guys have, have cut strips and they've left uh, anything young standing. Um, we tell them, you know, if you can, leave anything standing. Okay. Some, some uh, people, when, when we get um, independent forest audits yes on high ground they don't like to see this no well, they want us to knock everything down like and it's like well why would you want to eat like we've got beautiful spruce here it's you know 10 8 10 centimeters uh, we, we do have some balsam fir and, and balsam fir is the one that people may have issues with because right. we don't want to generate more balsam fir uh, on mm -hmm. the forest because mm -hmm. Already, some people think we have too much compared to what the natural forest had. Yeah. But I think the guys did an excellent job here. We got a beautiful little round of spruce left standing. The guys took what they could. Yeah. Uh, we try and maximize everything that uh, that that we can. This is a very narrow strip. Uh, you know, this this road was eight thousand bucks a kilometer. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, nothing fancy. You know, it's 14 feet wide. Uh, I fight with the contractor. I want 14, 15 feet, and he's uh, 
he wants to go a little bit wider, just a little safer. Safer, for the yeah. Right? Yeah. But I, I, I try and keep them narrow. Yeah. Keep it narrow and build make it ahead, work. Guys. Just make it work. Make it work. Yeah. yeah. And you know they did a pretty good job location. It's fairly straight. Uh, um, no real major big curves uh, that that would give the trucks any any issues. 